Welcome to Sophie's Patch. I'm an obsessive compulsive gardener and I love to grow all plants, but I'm particularly fascinated by edibles. I'm lucky enough to live in this beautiful old stone home that was built in 1847 by Thomas Hamlin and his wife Susanna. Now they came out from Devon in the UK with their tribe of nine kids. And back in those days, they had to grow their own produce to survive. They also had to be able to grow produce that's stored for a long time. So I call these sorts of vegetables keepers. And we're lucky enough that they built a cellar which they kept their vegetables in. Now, they didn't have refrigeration and they also didn't have supermarkets open seven days a week. So it was really important that they grew crops that would last a long time. One of my vegetable obsessions is pumpkins and I've been known to grow up to 35 different types. But the reason I love them is because they can store in my cellar for up to 12 months. My kitchen is a bit of a movable still life. I've always got produce in it. Sometimes it's things that are waiting to ripen like the persimmons or the quinces that are waiting for me to stew them. But often it's the pumpkins that I want to cook up next that I'm excited about using in the kitchen. So why don't I take you behind the scenes and down into the cellar so you can see what's down there. So the main groups of crops that I store down here are my pumpkins, different types of squash, I have also stored melons, garlic and different types of onions, and in years gone by we have tried storing apples and pears, but they really are best stored in a fridge for the longest life. I've managed to keep pumpkins in this cellar for up to 15 months, which is amazing. But the varieties that last the longest are definitely the ones with the thicker skins. Old fashioned varieties like ironbark that you almost need an ax to chop up. Now these other varieties like these orange ones here, which are potty marron and summer orange, they need to be used in cooking first because they won't keep that long. Another group of crops that I love to store down here are my squash. So I've got some varieties of spaghetti squash. Again, I've been able to keep them for up to 12 months. I've got some pimply squash that I just love because they look so cool. And I've also got tromboncinos. Now tromboncinos are an interesting one. They're actually a climbing zucchini, but they will last down here for up to 12 months too. As a matter of fact, we just used some of ours from last year and we use them to make tromboncino white chocolate cake. Absolutely delicious. Other things that we've kept down here are different types of melon. At the moment, I've got some of the pie melons and jam melons. And we also use this to store our garlic. Now I try and grow enough garlic each year that A, I can give some to people for Christmas presents, but also it will keep us in a year's supply of garlic. I've been known to store normal onions down here, but at the moment I've only got Egyptian walking onions and they store really well too. Now you might think that this volume of produce is way too much for us to eat. And you'd be right. We do have a large tribe, five teenagers, and I share quite a bit with family and friends. However, a lot of this produce is used to make cakes, which people get to try when they come here for garden tours or at our big open gardens. As a matter of fact, if you want to get our pumpkin cake recipe, you can actually find it on the website. It's delicious. There are lots of other veggies you could store things like potatoes and sweet potatoes, but this is what we've got in our cellar right at the moment. If you're not lucky enough to have a cellar, you can also use things like a cool veranda, even a cool part of the shed, or even a cool cupboard in your house. So either way, when you're growing your veggies, think about veggies that are good keepers and have fun growing them. Happy gardening. <laughs>